Hi, I'm James Whalen. Welcome to City Beat. This episode, we're uh, glad to be joined by uh, Randy Vaughan and Sonic Blues, and I'm joined here by Randy Vaughan. How are you, Randy? Hi, James. Great to see you. Randy and I have known each other for a long time, been on the blues scene for a long time. Uh, why don't you tell everybody, just in case they haven't seen you, uh, a little bit of your background, where you started, uh, some of the bands you've been in, and just give people an idea where you're coming from. Well, I started playing a long time ago, about 1975. And the first band I got lucky with was a band called The Look, which I started in 1976. Wow, that long ago. Can you believe it? And uh, played from 76 to 86 before I got out of that situation. And after that, and that was a rock and roll band, The Look. And, uh, they had a couple of hits. And uh, after that, basically jumped right back into the blues. And been doing that ever since, which is... 1986 till now. Did you uh, did you start out playing the blues? Is that is that sort of, sort of where you, where you sort of came from? Pretty You're... much. I you know I used to go down to uh, this little club called Ethel's on uh, Mac and see uh, Albert King play. Wow. When I was like 13 and 14, be the only white guy in the club, and they would just see me coming. They'd go, "What's this little kid coming to a bar?" And and uh, I'd walk in. I'd sit right down in front with my tape recorder right in front of Albert King and record it. Wow. And go home and learn it, and then, uh, yeah, basically I was a blues guy from the beginning because I remember my buddies that were playing guitar when I was in high school. They were all doing the Deep Purple and that stuff. Right. I kind of was, but I listened to Albert King and Freddie King, and Clapton and those guys, and would read the songwriting credits, and I realized that the names on the credits were old black guys that were doing the blues. How old were you when you started playing guitar? Thirteen. 13. Yeah, my first I mean, back then, I imagine there wasn't a whole lot of guys playing blues. And well, yeah, there was. I yeah. mean, you had your Johnny Winters and your Clapton's right. and, your, and your Pages. You know. well, I mean, like, you know, guys in your, in your high school and things oh, like that. Oh, no, yeah. nobody was. I yeah. mean, I was like, they were always saying, well, Richie Blackmore is much better than this guy. I'm going, <laughs> yeah, he's faster. But this, but this blues guy plays out of tune. I go, yeah, but it feels good, you know, and... That's just how that was, you know. So you were in a look from uh, about what, roughly about twelve years or so. No, it was only oh, about ten years. About ten years. A ten years spin. And you guys were you guys were uh, got a lot of air, radio play. Did you, did you tour around? Oh yeah, yeah. we uh, the look, had a couple of hits. I remember. Yeah, we had a song called "We're Gonna Rock." Yeah. Which every once in a while you hear it on uh, right. WIF, and I change the channel, I get my three cents though first. Right. And then uh, and then we had "You Can't Sit Down," and it took us all around the country for years. And we got MTV Airplay out of it, and we got a little bit of American Bandstand. We did a thing on there. And just, it was good while it lasted, and then it didn't. Right. You know? Well, I mean, uh, do you have a, have a sense now that you're part of uh, the Detroit music legacy, so to say, you know? A very tiny part, yeah. I mean, well, I mean, um, you know, I mean you've been playing live, you know, and, and being a guitar player at some level, you know, for quite a long time. Yeah, there's history. There's some history here. Uh, and then, uh, then how, how long have you had the Sonic Blues since then? About 1986, I think I started. Actually, what happened was um, I started with a band called the Hellcasters. Oh, I remember an, the Hellcasters. Yeah, with an old guy, buddy, uh, Gene Morgan. Yeah. And that lasted for about a year or two, and then there was a band out of Los Angeles called the Hellcasters came out, so that ended that. And then Gene went his own way, and um, I started the Sonic Blues about... 1986, 87, and that's when Bob Hecker, my bass player, came on board, who I just realized a couple of days ago, we've been playing together for 17 years, wow, me and Bob. a long time. <laughs> it's like a marriage, it is without like sex. Right, right. I'll make that, make that clear right now. <laughs> yeah, right. Was that the first time you started singing when you, when you joined, uh, when you formed Yeah, when band? I started doing the blues, I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't have a, a blues voice, in my opinion, but what happened was we, I just started booking gigs, and We'd get there and I'd realize, well, who's going to sing? Mm -hmm. And I'd look to the drummer and he'd go, not me. And I'd look to Bob, he goes, well, I know three songs. I went, oh, well, I guess I started singing. Right. And so I, it's a very much a matter of opinion if I sing. Right. Well, I, I, I think you have a good voice. I mean, you, I, you don't give yourself enough credit. You sort of have like a little Texas or Jimmy Vaughn sort of, no, you know. That's, well, you know I like it, listening to those guys, but it's hard for me to listen to myself. Well, I really enjoy uh, your plan I always have. and. Uh, so let's take a listen to some of that, and uh, we're going to check out right now Randy Vaughan and Sonic Blues. Check it out.
talking with Randy Vaughn here at Fifth Avenue. Um, what made you choose like the Stratocaster? And I know there's a there's a thing that you know, I always see you playing Stratocasters mostly, but uh, it's a unique sound. Well, I have lots of guitars. Um, I think uh, probably Jimi Hendrix. Right. That's uh, the first new guitar I ever bought was back in 73, and it was a Stratocaster, and I hated it because it was probably new. So, uh, uh, in fact, I bought it at a mu that we used to be a music store right around the corner from here called Anderson Music, which is no longer there. And uh, I bought it and hated it, and they wouldn't take it back, you know, because I was a young kid who paid cash for it, you know. And so I was, like, miserable. So I just sold it. I ended up buying an old Strat that was used, and it just felt right. And ever since then, I would buy a guitar and never sell them. And I, uh, I know uh, for all you people out there that, that you... Uh 
you, you collect and buy and sell uh, a lot of guitars. How many guitars are you up to now? Or, or, or at one point, you know? Oh, 300. Wow. Maybe, but a lot of it is, uh, well, what happened is my hobby kind of ran wild. And uh, when it got too much, at the time I was married, I, my wife at the time said, get this stuff out of here. And I said, I should have said, why don't you go? But she didn't. <laughs> and, uh, but what I did was uh, I actually opened up a little shop. And that dealt with uh, mostly older guitars, just buying, selling, trading, just whatever. Right, and you have a, a, a guitar store. Uh, the store is in Lake Orion, and it's called Rockin' Daddies. And it's a cool little place. We're online, just www.rockandaddies.com. And uh, Randy is a, a connoisseur of uh, vintage and uh, hard to find guitars and items and things like that. So check him out if you want to do that. Um, what about recording? Uh, I know you had to put some stuff out with a look, but with, uh, mm -hmm. with your own. How many, how many recordings have you put out? We've got two CDs out now. Uh, first one's used guitars. The second one is called Waking Up With Wood. <clears throat> and we do. And the third one is in the can. We record usually at uh, Roscoe's. What's this studio called? Uh, Roscoe's Recordings. Roscoe's Recording, yeah. Yep, and he's on the east side. Yep, and he's on the east side on Mac. And he's a really great guy. He's great for guitar players. And he's real cool. Um, how, how did it go with, um, you know, we really putting all that stuff together and, and writing songs? I mean, was it, was it kind of hard to put your put your, your music down for you or was it, it just come out of you? you no, well, sometimes. I mean, some songs I've labored over. I labor over quite a bit and some songs just come right out. They just come right out of the hat. And usually once um, we got a batch of songs, we'll just kick them around the clubs and kick them into shape and play them this way and this way and until it feels pretty solid. And then we'll go uh, record and knock out, you know, 10, 15 songs in a day or two and sometimes we change them th again there in the studio, but we have such uh, we twisted the tunes around so many ways. It takes us no time at all to find an arrangement and go. Yeah, I like I like uh, some of the arrangements you guys put together. Sound, you know, it's you might do a, a like a, like whether it's your own song or even like you do a classic song, blues song. You do like a different arrangement and some of your own stuff. It's, it's, I really enjoy some of the arrangements you guys put it, together. It doesn't hurt to think about what you're doing just a little bit, you know. Right. You know, Okay, well, on that note, uh, let's take a listen to some more music. We're uh, live from Fifth Avenue. Randy Vaughan and the Sonic Blues. Check it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Check, baby.
I'll take care of everything for you So you can stay at home You can rest for sure, little girl The deal won't go down wrong I want to be your personal manager, babe Want to do everything I can for you Your milkman every morning. Your ice cream man when your day is through. Oh yes, I will, child. Thanks to Woody's Diner in downtown Royal Oak for the bountiful crew meals they provide for the volunteers working on City Beat. The kitchen staff at Woody's make their menu come alive with tempting appetizers and entrees that delight patrons year-round. Generous portions means no one leaves hungry. Woody's Diner features the world-famous Big Chief Burger and Susie Q and there's wet goods from all over the world. The roof is on fire at Woody's in the warmer months when live music and sunshine combine for a festive atmosphere. There's something for everyone at Woody's Diner where challenging arcade games entertain young and old alike. Old favorites like billiards and darts test your skills. Watch the big game on any of Woody's TVs or dance to the music provided by the DJ. When you visit Woody's Diner, tell the staff you saw them on City Beat. Woody's Diner is located on 5th Avenue in downtown Royal Oak.
together Come on, come on Work together Now people Together we will stand The boy, the woman and a man Together we stand Divided we fall Come on our people Let's get on the ball Fourth and honorary member, Mr. James Whalen.
acting strange Oh, I don't know why She likes to wear them whips and chains Somebody Always ringing on my phone Somebody Always ringing on my phone I pick up my receiver You know somebody gone Oh, let's go Somebody Hi, we're back, and we're joined now by Bob Hecker from Randy Vol and Sonic Blues. How you doing, Bob? Doing fine. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. Um, I know you've been playing with Randy about 17 years, and uh, I know you just recently uh, joined Larval. Tell us about that real quick. Uh, it's avant-garde. It's experimental music. It's uh, all orchestrated, very long pieces, a, lo a lot of fun. Um, we do well in some parts of the world. Uh, we played New York not too long ago and, and just yeah, you told me sold you out and killed, and came back to Detroit and played in front of four people, five people. Oh, that's, I want to tell everybody to go check out Larval, and every time you get a chance, you can see Bob's uh, uh, genius on the bass. <laughs> and uh, tell us real quick about uh, what ever drew you to the blues. Well, I, I wasn't really drawn to the blues. It was a gig. You know, Randy had called me for the gig, and uh, I didn't listen to the blues. I didn't know a lot of blues. Um, and once I got into it, I, I really started to enjoy it. And it just you know, being free and playing, it's actually a lot, even though it's very tight structure, it's very free in a lot of other ways. And okay. Well, good. Well, I appreciate you uh, being here. It was, uh, you guys sound great. And, well, thank uh, you. And if you check out the Randy Volan Sonic Blues whenever you get a chance, or check out Larval here. I'd like to thank, uh, thank you for joining us here at Fifth Avenue, and uh, thank Woody's Diner across the street for feeding our lovely uh, volunteer crew and uh, join us next time here on CD Beat and thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for being here and support local music in Detroit.
kiss me She make the lights go out Early in the morning Make me jump and shout Bad love she got Make me laugh and cry Make me really know That I'm too young to die And if you hear me howling Calling on my darling Street. Oh no, let's break it down, boys. Come on. 